Hi, everybody. This is my first review that I've ever done. Uh, I'm a little nervous about it because, of course, I've never done one before. Don't expect anything spectacular out of it because I'm still learning a lot of things about YouTube. Um, anyway, as a DuckTales fan, I've read a lot of articles and uh, reviews about the show and the characters. Some good, some bad, some negative, some positive. I've read both the good, the bad, and the ugly about it. The character that I've noticed that probably catches the most negativity from the show is, is actually one of my personal favorites, and that would be the character of Webby Vanderquack. Well, I'm here today to give my own personal opinion um, about a lot of the complaints that people seem to have about her character. I have a list with me um, about um, a lot of the major complaints that I've read that people have. Um, women seem to dislike her because she's sexist because she's the token girl. She was made to be the damsel in distress and she doesn't get as much screen time as the boys. Their opinion, not mine. Men dislike her because she's stupid, useless, and completely ruined Scrooge's character by making him too soft. Again, their opinion, not mine. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. And I'm, I'm about to give mine about all of these complaints that I've read. Okay, starting with the sexist token girl one. How? How does being a token female make a character sexist? That's my question. Anybody? Anybody at all? Well, speaking as a woman, I've never found token female characters to be sexist. Yeah, I wish that there was more than one female character in a show, but I'm happy that they at least went to the trouble of adding a female character, because if they hadn't, then it would be nothing but dudes in the show. Did you ever think about that, ladies? Also, most of the women who, who claim to dislike a character because she's the token female character don't really give any other reasons that they dislike her. They just say she's a sexist character because she's the token female character. Which, to me, isn't really a legitimate reason to dislike her. I mean, there are plenty of good token female characters, Webby being one of them, Lola Bunny, um, Smurfette, a bunch of them. Miss Piggy. She was made to be the damsel in distress. Yeah, she does play the damsel in distress on various occasions. But you also have to consider the villains that she goes up against. I mean, a, a gang of thugs, the Beagle Boy, like the Beagle Boys, a wicked witch like Magic at the Spell, you really expect a little girl her age to defeat villains like that on her own? Really? Because I definitely don't. Also, you, ha you have to take into consideration that the boys get captured plenty of times. So is she really any more of a damsel in distress than they are? Also, she, she saved the day on various occasions, like in the episode Maritime Adventure. She saves the day in that. She even saves Launchpad, who's a much bigger guy than she is, from drowning. In the episode, The New Gizmo Kids on the Block, um, she saves the boys from, from the Beagle Boys wearing the Gizmo Duck suit. She doesn't get as much screen time as the boys. Very true. And speaking as a diehard Webby fan, I wish that she got 
as much, if not more, screen time than the boys. But having said that, you also have to take into consideration that in the old Donald Duck and Uncle Scrooge comics, there really weren't any female characters of any importance at all that got any amount of any amount of time, unless you count, like, Magic of the Spell, the villainess. Um, occasionally, Daisy or Goldie. Very occasionally them. So, yeah, while I wish that she had gotten more screen time, I don't think that sexism is the reason that she didn't get as much screen time as the boys. And, you all, and... It's certainly a step in the right direction. Um, um, since she was in over half the episodes, it's certainly a step in the right direction, get, giving her more screen time th than, than the female characters had in the old comics. Uh, moving on to the complaints that guys have. She's stupid. Really? How? How's she stupid? Uh, yeah, uh, she, she's a little girl who's ignorant about a lot of the things in the world because she hasn't had a lot of life experience, but that's not the same thing as stupid. I mean, in that sense, all kids are stupid. Uh... Also, I mean, she's shown as, as being smarter and more mature in certain areas than the boys are. Like in the episode I mentioned just a few minutes ago, Maritime Adventure, she saves the day in that because she decides to study for her merit badge rather than goof off like they do. Um, she's useless. Really? How? Again, how? Um, as I've mentioned before, she saves the day, um, on various occasions. Yes, she does have her moments of uselessness, if you want to call it that, where she gets captured and has to be saved, but so do the boys. So, is she any more useless than they are? Hmm, not that I can see. She ruined Scrooge's character by making him way too soft. Okay, first of all, you, you have to remember that this is DuckTale Scrooge that you're talking about, who is a much softer character in general than comic book Scrooge. Um, he behaves in a much uh, kinder and softer way um, to, to pretty much any child, whether it's Webby, his nephews, um, a, 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 other kids in the show, as opposed to Carl Barks or Don Ross's Scrooge, which is a mu who is a much tougher, grumpier character who ha who has few to no moments of softness. So, to me, that sounds more like you have a problem with DuckTail Scrooge than Webby. Um, I mean, I, I, I understand I, that she's not a character for everybody. I'm not trying to say that, well, just because I like her, everybody should. But I, really, I just really don't see these as legitimate reasons to detest her. I mean, that, that, they just don't make a lot of logical sense to me. In my personal opinion, she's a very good role model for little girls. Um, she's very sweet, kind, caring, responsible... 
um, has a very has a very good sense of adventure, um, and uh, shows girls that um, you can keep up with the boys without having to be some kind of masculine tomboy. So, in my opinion, she's a wonderful character, and a very underrated heroine. I've actually started a petition to make her a more prominent character in the Mickey and Friends franchise. Um, there's going to be a link to that in the comments section. Um, uh, please sign that when you're done watching the video. I've started a petition for another underrated heroine. Um, Lola Bunny to make her um, a more prominent character in the Looney Tunes franchise. Um, a friend of mine has done a video similar to this one um, about all of the hate that she gets from Looney Tunes fans. There will be a link to his video in the comments section as well. Um, I encourage you to watch it. Anyway, thank you and I hope that you enjoyed watching this.